Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going through an overview of Azure Privilege Identity Management or PIM, P-I-M. So what is PIM? PIM is a feature within Azure that allow you to manage privilege identity. There's a just in time and time bound access um, assign access assignment. So now let's get started and look at the PIM feature. I'm going to Azure Admin Center. Click on Azure Active Directory. Click on portal.azure.com. And then search for PIM, privilege. Just type in PRI, you got the Azure AD Privilege Management, uh, Privilege Identity Management. Click on that. So here's a quick start. If you log into PIM for the very first time, you need to click on Consent to PIM. This will activate your privilege identity to your tenant. It's going to take a few minutes. All right, while it's doing that, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when it's finished. It should take maybe 10 minutes. All right, see um, privilege identity management, MFA work together to help. So I'm gonna need to verify my identity. Click next, next. I'm gonna enter my phone number. United State next six two four zero three zero. So you have to verify the the first time you connect. All right, looks good. As you can see, it's green now. Quick start. I need to click consent. 
consent to use privilege identity service click yes all right now it is complete as you can see the uh, consent went away my roles if I click on my roles I should see all the roles I have it says you need to sign up with privilege identity management as your roles to use this function click here to sign up check the status it's great sign up for Azure PIM click yes Let's finish. Let me uh, refresh. All right, so now my roles, eligible roles, and active roles. Active role is a permanent roles, eligible role is a temporary roles. So just say if I want to give somebody two weeks access to to be administrator, that's eligible roles. And under Azure Re resource roles, there's a eligible roles and active roles and expire roles. So I don't have any expi expire roles. and I don't have any eligible roles. Let's go back to PIM. Oops. Okay, it's my roles. My requests. If under my requests, if I have any um, a request to be an admin. I should see it under here, under my requests. Approve requests. So the approve request, if I have any anything, pen, anything pendings. Review requests. Uh, review access. Azure AD roles and it's all the roles available. Members Access Reviews, nothing here, alerts. It just say there's too many global administrator. Settings, you can set the role alert, uh, roles configurations. For example, administrator, global administrator. I can set the settings for these roles. Maximum number of activation during hours. So if I want to activate, um, somebody to to be a global administrator i can set number of hours here i'm just going to put in 20 hours notification send email notification to admin of activations so once the role has been activated i want to send a notifications or you can create a incident tickets when the it's require incident request ticket number during activations. You can enable that. Multi-factor, it's require. You cannot disable. You can enable require approval if you wanna give someone access to approve the roles, uh, to approve the request, you can enable that here. 
I'm not going to do that. Oh, actually, let's do that. I'm going to select the approver. Click select. I'm going to click save. Close it out. So you can configure the, the, the role settings there. All right, now me, let me log in to um, to request access. Um, I'm going to log in as a, with a test account. Let me see which test account I want to use here. I'm going to use Timothy account. Timothy ad. Oh, let's see um, my tenant ID. Oops. All right, so I log in um, as Timothy. Let's go back to Admin Center. I'm going to give I'm going to give Timothy access to um, to be an administrator. So we'll click on roles. Click on members. Click on more. I'm going to need to make this. Um, oops, I chose the wrong. Um, I chose the wrong um, account. All right, let's see. Looking for Timothy. Oops, sorry. I need to add a member. Select the role, administrator, select, selected members, I'm going to add Timothy, click select, click OK. So now Timothy is the global administrator. If I go back to Timothy account again, refresh, if 
probably have to sign out um, for that change to take effect. Let me uh, sign out. Gonna sign in. Hmm. Let's see, did I choose the right one? It is there. Maybe it's going to take some time. Um, let's see here. Let's see if I could I look. As you can see here, um, active global administrator role in Active Directory. So you've been assigned to global administrator. I'm going to activate that. So I have to go to the email and activate my account. That's one of the steps I forgot to check. And I, now it should be activated. Maybe later. All right, now I have access to I'm a global administrator. Action is activate. Active roles. I don't have any active roles, eligible roles. If I click on activate, I have to verify my identity. Again, I have to do, go through the MFA configuration. So that's, you get the idea. That's how you, um, add people to um, global administrator or any other um, administrator accounts and if I look at my roles it shows that it's it's it, it's active but I need to activate it to log in and I should have all the once I activate I should have all the um, have access to the tenant as administrator and that's it thank you for watching and have a great day